NAB 2023 and we're here in the Central Hall. I'm here with Multidyne. I'm speaking with Jesse. Jesse, hey. hi, how are you doing? Good, good to see you. Good, good, yeah. Uh, had a good show so far? Yeah, the show's been excellent. Really Fantastic. good turnout. Uh, a lot of uh, people coming in that are pre-marketing uh, efforts with the honey badger well, hair and everything. Paid off people coming in asking for specific products. There you yeah. go. We, we spoke on the NAB preview day. I think that had something to do with about it. about yeah. the uh, honey badger. <laughs> That's right. Um, and here it is in the flesh. Um, go on. Give yeah. Us so the honey badger, in essence, it's a production signal transceiver platform meant yeah. to be deployed around campuses and at stadium installations. Uh, there's junction bro broadcast junction box panels that you jack into to get video and audio signals back and forth for your productions. This is an active JBT where it actually takes the electrical signals, turns them to optical light and then transports all of this signal back and forth over two optical fibers. So it's very efficient on fiber count. Yeah. Uh, it does not take a lot of fibers to get basically. That's the remote box, that's the local box. Correct, yeah. So yeah. this is the 5RU box that go at the uh, field side. The reason this 5RU, it has eight mic pre inputs uh, with phantom power options. Uh, so that's what these eight XLRs are yeah. here. You have okay. eight, eight line level return audios coming from the control room. Then you have eight SDI inputs and outputs simultaneously. We have versions for 3G or for 12G 4K workflows. Okay. And then we have four IFB uh, or wet party line ports uh, that equate to eight channels of four wire intercom on the receive side. So there's actually eight intercom channels at play here. And that plays well with any many manufacturers. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. RJ45 yeah. plug right into your matrix switch yeah um and then we also have two unprocessed full gigabit ethernet paths to use at your discretion as you as you want yep yeah. multiple serial data and contact closures there's genlock comes out to sync all the cameras on the remote side and uh, again all that's over to are you and um the honey badger's the, the hit of the show so far absolutely and uh mains powered but i spotted that battery backup as well correct yes there's two um 48 volt DC inputs for primary and backup. And there's also battery backup for worst case scenario situations. And there's gonna be, I mean, there's a new product. Uh, you know, this is the first iteration. There's gonna be, it's, it's gonna continue to evolve, I guess. Uh, it most likely will based on how we usually work with our products. They're configurable by nature. Um, this is in response to uh, a systems design consultants firm that right. puts them in to stadiums around the world. And this is the mix of signals that they see needed They constantly. wanted this. Yeah. So ultimately, if, if let's say we've, we've got someone out there that has got a, a slightly unique scenario, they could come along and say, actually, we want most of that, but. Yeah, they're either gonna go into a, a, a different product of ours, which is a light box, which is in like Pelican case, or we have like a predecessor to this called a light cube. But uh, a lot of the functionality, flexibility that has gone into this has uh, come about since those products were created. So um, to answer your question, I think there will be a, f a family of honey a badgers. A family of uh, honey badgers. Yeah, which I knew the term <laughs> at one point, I forget what it's called, like a gang or something like there that. There you go. Know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not something you really want to come across, but we look forward to it. Yeah, that's right. Fantastic. Well, uh, now if anyone's not made it to NAB this year, where do we send them to website afterwards? Yeah, multidyne.com. Yeah, learn more about the honey badger. Fantastic. And we're gonna have a chat about uh, some other products and yes, some open gear products. That's right. So keep a lookout for them. And of course, for everything else that Kit Plus are doing at the show, it's kitplus.com. Thank you.